Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. It is Angela D coming to you very quietly from my apartment at about 6.15 in the morning. Um, uh, for those that are new to the channel, I am a single millennial in Los Angeles that's also a foster mom. And I'm chronicling my time with my very first foster baby, Buster, who's nine and a half months old. He's currently on my hip, that's why I'm coming to you at this very odd angle, because he cannot be on camera. I can't show his face, protecting his privacy. His name is not Buster, if that's his nickname. I don't talk about his court case or his bio parents, but I talk to you about everything in between that. So uh, I, I thought I'd show you what we do in a day. Um, He's in daycare right now, so that's really nice. I get to do other things like my job, but with COVID rates going back up across the country, he really wants to be in the frame. I'm gonna put him down. With COVID rates going back up across the country, um, it could be that everything shuts down again. He wants to be in the camera frame so badly. Okay. Well, I'll get the top of your head. Out of shh, shh, shh. Anyway, so we're up. He woke up at 5.45, he, he had his first breakfast, which is a bottle. Could you be a little quieter? Oh God, now he's gonna jump for a while, that's what he does. In about five minutes, I'm gonna make him a second breakfast, which consists of baby oatmeal mixed with a puree, a jar of puree. Anyway, I'll show you what I pack for him for his lunch. Um, I'll do a completely separate video about what I pack in his um, daycare diaper bag. Um, and then we'll get started on our day. Okay, so this is what my little potato boy is having for lunch. Here's some brisket that we had for dinner yesterday. Um, we've got some collard greens here. They actually have a little bit of a kick to it and some pork in it too. And then some delicious potato salad, which he really loves. I got this from a local restaurant and we love it. So put it in his little container and then off to school it goes. I also like to pack him a few snacks. These are Gerber's little crunchies and I think these are veggie dip flavored. Um, he loves them and he's allowed to share if other parents don't mind their kids having little crunchies. Okay, so my potato boy had his breakfast and fell asleep. It is 7.32. We have to leave today at 7.45 because it's street sweeping day and I parked on the side of the street that is getting swept. So I have to be out of here by 8. His school doesn't start till 8.30. It's 8 minutes away, so I'm gonna get coffee on the way. Delicious. It is now 7.45. My dude transferred into his Tula very easily. Um, he's still asleep. Gonna hop in the car. I think we're gonna drive to Starbucks so I can get some coffee because it's still a while before he can go to school. And yeah, and we'll catch up with you probably when we're waiting in the parking lot for his daycare to open. <laughs> I'm waiting in a line to get out of the Starbucks drive-thru, but I got um, a pumpkin loaf warmed up and a uh, tall peppermint mocha, and apparently I had enough reward starts to get them completely free, so I didn't pay anything for my delicious Starbucks breakfast. My potato boy and I have officially arrived at daycare. He is chilling in his car seat for now. Ah! I don't know how long that will last. Um, cause he does not like being in that car seat. Um, it's 8.16. We have 14 minutes until we go in. Um, I think his teachers are there earlier. They're just not in the baby room cause no other babies come that early. And really my schedule is pretty flexible. I don't need to come that early, but I like to pick him. I like to pick him up earlier. I like to pick him up before it's dark. And right now that means about like 4.30. Um, by five it's dark here. So <clears throat> I put him in usually 8.39, pick him up by 4, 4.30, okay. um, or earlier if it's days where he has a social worker visit. So my social workers are not available later in the day or early in the morning. They're like only available smack dab in the middle of the day a lot. So I have to go, I either keep him out in the morning and then put him back in only for the afternoon, take him out early and just have him, or um, pick him up, take him to back to the apartment to do the social worker visit because they can't do it at the daycare it has to be at the apartment even though it's socially distanced and outside and then drive him back to daycare go back and do work then drive back and pick him up so it's a lot um but yeah so today he does not have a social worker visit he has a social worker visit tomorrow so he will go for most of the day today um 
I, I don't know if I'm going to pick them up at 4, 4.30. Um, it'll depend on how my writing day goes. So right now I'm establishing a project with the program. Um, I had established a project, but got some feedback from two of my advisors. One who was a little iffy on it, and the other who was like, no, this will be better as an animated feature and not a uh, live action feature. So now I'm back to the drawing board, but I have three new ideas that I can type out and present to the advisors and see what they think. Exactly. Um, I also need to make time today just to tidy my house. I haven't tidied my house in a really long time. <laughs> I, uh, I get it cleaned regularly, but I kind of just pile stuff on the couch. So I need to sort through, decide what I'm going to sell um, on the internet and decide what I'm going to keep. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so I've officially made it to um, the place that I'm going to tour today to see if I want to live there. It's an apartment, it's a two bedroom. Space-wise, I think it's similar to my one bedroom because my current one bedroom has a very big bedroom. Um, so, uh, Buster would get his own room, which is great. And if I took other foster children, they could also be in that room. Um, but LA has a premium on space. It's not as bad as New York City, thank goodness. Um, and prices are going down because of COVID not distinctly down which kind of stinks but they're going down um and this place is pretty pretty reasonably priced um so yeah i'll let you know if he lets me um if the manager or whatever lets me film i will show you what it looks like on the inside car again um you can probably hear it a bit um i had to turn it on because i needed to charge my phone so that i could get, get on a conference call in about five minutes um but yeah as you could see it was a lovely place um small but that's la <laughs> i'm touring one more place this afternoon it's out in kind of like a suburb of la but still la county so my foster care license would be fine i wouldn't have to do anything um, it is much further away from our daycare, so I'm pretty sure we'd have to switch daycares, which is a bummer because I love his daycare. But the place I'm going to see this afternoon is 500 square feet more than what I currently live in um, and within budget. So if that one works out, that might be the way to go. The one that you'll see later, I don't know if they'll let me shoot it, but... Um, it is real antiquated like it's definitely a house from the 50s that hasn't been updated the carpet doesn't look like the newest carpet ever it has had a bathroom remodel so that's nice um but yeah stay tuned so i'm taking my conference call in the car uh because i, do, I didn't have enough time to drive home in order to do my conference call so i'm so glad for zoom and i'm so glad for being able to do it from my phone <laughs> Thank you. 